respected Congress President, Madam Sonia Ji, respected Honorable Prime Minister, respected Vice President, Congress Party, Sri Rahul Ji, all distinguished senior leaders, distinguished members of the AICC, and friends. It is an opportune moment for, of us, for all of us to refresh our memories that we belong to such a great party, a party led by leaders with love, sense of love and compassion and sacrifice, leaders who have the political will and commitment and dedication to come out with revolutionary ideas and because of which today we see visible impact on the ground reality. Today it is important for us to motivate each one of us to tell the people that the country needs our party, the country needs our leadership. It is important for us to remind ourselves that we need to tell people that the country needs to support our Indian National Congress Party because Indian National Congress Party deserves the support of each one of the citizens of this country. It is important for us to tell people about the great things that has happened in the last 10 years. It is important for us to be optimistic rather than pessimist. I was looking at a number of instances when we intend to actually forget the fact that people of this country has reposed their faith again and again on, on Congress party because there cannot be any political party we all understand which exists across the country. Many of the party who are talking big today don't have their presence in many of the parts of the country. Therefore, it is important for us to remember that we belong to this party which has its member in every nook and corner of this great country. It is therefore important for us to reach out to all our party members and to motivate them that time has come for us now to reassert ourselves and reach out to everyone and talk about the good things that has happened in the last 10 years. Besides what has happened in the past, I think it is important to talk about what has happened in the last 10 years. There has been a number of instances where many of our opponents, many of our oppositions, we're trying to show to the world that many good things that have happened did not actually happen. It is a fact that many other issues have tended to overshadow many of our, the good things that has been done. But the fact is that the ground reality itself is a reflection of the visible impact that has taken place because of many revolutionary decisions taken by our leadership. Our leadership, who had the political will and conviction and determination. That is the reason why today we see completely different scenario all across the world with assertive and vigilant civil society. This has been facilitated because our leadership wanted to ensure that our party, as per the con commitment, keep the commitment to empower the people of this great nation. And that empowerment today has created that kind of scenario where we have assertive and vigilant civil society. And because of the revolutionary decisions to mandate the people with power through legislation in the form of right to information, the approach to governance by all political parties and all those people who are in power have completely changed. That is the socio-economic transformative changes which we see, which is a gift of our leader who have the strong political will and determination to achieve what has been promised. Those are the great things which we need to tell. The fact that today the growth stories are being talked about all across the globe. The fact that many of the state governments are actually talking about the growth process is because of the big transformative changes that has taken place across the country for over 1.2 billion population. The fact that the majority of the population which actually constitute more than 70% of the population, 
the agricultural workforce have been economically and socially empowered by the revolutionary decision of our leadership under the dynamic leadership of our beloved leader, Madam Sonia Ji, by empowering the most deprived section of the society, the wage seekers. The wage seekers who constitute the strong agricultural workforce who had to run from pillar to post searching for wages, who were compelled to accept wages which were much, much less than the actual minimum wages fixed by respective governments. We used to see people running from pillar to post seeking for wages, accepting 20 rupees, 30 rupees as wages because they had to survive, because they had to feed their children. But today the scenario has changed all across the country. People have been socio-economically empowered through the revolutionary and as we refer to as the largest economic stimulus that has been given to our nation, the MG and REGS, under which 100 days wages are guaranteed for our wage seekers in the rural population. Today, that's the reason why the earlier oppressed and suppressed job seekers of the agricultural workforce are capable of spending more. The spending power has increased, and that spending power which has increased has obviously has its own cascading impact on the overall economy of this country. It is important for us to tell friends, people who are basically talking about the industrial growth, people who are talking about the desire of many investment houses from across the globe, looking India as their destination. It is because over 1.2 billion population of our nation have increased their spending power. That's for India has become an attractive destination for investment. That's why today the industries are growing. If many of the states are projecting their growth, growth rate, many of the leaders of various states, the chief ministers are taking pride in showcasing as to how their respective states are growing. I also take the privilege of saying that Meghalaya has been growing very fast because we received all the support that we needed because of number of new initiatives that has been unleashed by our leadership. And the same thing happens to all the states. But if any state is projecting the growth rate that they have been able to achieve that kind of growth rate, it is because, because they are actually benefiting out of the actual socio-economic transformative changes that has taken place across the nation for more than 1.2 billion population of our great nation. Friends, our strength lies therefore in the strength of this majority of the people who have been benefited because of these revolutionary programs, besides many other programs, whether it is to ensure that access to education become legally accessible and it becomes legally binding for the state governments to provide education for our children, to empower our children, to empower our youth. The fact that number of opportunities have been created for our youth to become doctors, to become specialists, these are the, these are the opportunities created by the leadership of our party. Therefore, it's time for us to speak to our people. Look, good things have happened. Good things have happened. We have been able to also get many of the states which were earlier run by other parties. Have we not won the Karnataka from BJP? Have we not won Chattis, uh, 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 Uttarakhand from BJP? Have we not won Himachal from BJP? So let us talk about good things that has happened and motivate our people and ensure that as we reach out to the people, as we, as we look for the battle that is before us, as we prepare ourselves for the battle under the leadership of our young leader, our young dynamic leader Rahulji, let us ensure that each one of us go committed and motivated and speak about good things. Friends, therefore, we look forward to all the blessings and under the dynamic leadership of our Congress President and the Prime Minister and all our senior leaders and with the, with the leadership that our Rahulji is going to give us during the election, we are confident 
that we will be able to win the confidence and faith of the people because ours is a different party which actually is the only party which blends with the ideology and principles of all communities across the station. So we look forward to see good things and I am very confident, Madam, under your leadership, we will definitely form the next government. Let us not be pessimists, but let us be optimists. In 2004, many people ruled out that Congress will not form government, but I insisted that Congress will form the government, and it happened. It is going to happen. Congress is going to form the government in 2014. People are with us. We only need to connect with them, and let us do it together. Thank you.